what is the greatest DreamWorks film? Fred, what's the better DreamWorks film? Shrek or Kung Fu Panda 1? Jesus Christ, that is mad that you've gone for <laughs> two of the best. And you've got 30 seconds per round. Are we going timer? You, yeah. you keeping an eye. Starting now, go. Kung Fu Panda. Oh, right, okay, cool. I bloody love Kung Fu Panda. Why does that beat Shrek? Shrek is an absolute belter. Shrek is a belter. If you look back, I'll say the animation on Shrek is a bit aged. Seems but like. still, this is a tiny little gripe. Like yeah, Shrek, okay. is, Shrek is mega, right? One thing with Shrek is it does have a lot of dated references. So it's almost a time capsule. If you look back on it and you rewatch, like there's Matrix references in there. There's, there's things that are very much of that late 90s, early 2000s. Uh -huh, okay. Give Shrek 1 a rewatch. Uh, you might I think will. about <laughs> it. Uh, Kung Fu Panda, I think, Excellent. is more timeless and... I love, I love Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> you love Kung Fu Panda, I, I didn't realise. Yeah. Okay. Kung Fu Panda. Maybe we'll have to do an episode. Uh, Kung Fu Panda or How to Train Your Dragon? Kung Fu Panda. Any comments on How to Train Your Dragon? Yeah, I watched this a bit late in the day. Like, not uh, literally, but As I was adult. a bit older and um, had heard, of course, that this is one of the great DreamWorks films that I hadn't got a chance to watch. Um, one minor gripe, and of course it is a great film, is I did find that the uh, main character was... a bit annoying yeah he was a bit weedy and pathetic I, I think characters in Kung Fu Panda this will be a theme that I'll talk about across <laughs> the board the characters in Kung Fu Panda are mint like every one of them is quality I, do you know what you've sold me actually I, I'm, I'm, I'm in yeah this is gonna be a bit of a Kung Fu Panda loving alright carry um, on Kung Fu Panda or The Road to El Dorado ooh very underrated DreamWorks film Road to El Dorado uh, not one that I had watched when it came out. Again, a bit later to the day. However, a real fun romp, really nice setting, interesting um, duo, Jutagonist. No, I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> Jutagonist it is. Well, Tritagonist is the... I was more thinking J-E-W-Tagonist oh, doesn't no. sound good. No, I don't think, I don't think um, that's the correct term. So... Yeah, really good. Cool setting. Lovely animation and vibe. Elton John soundtrack. Cool. Yeah. Uh, still, Kung Fu Panda. Unbelievable. Excellent. Kung Fu Panda or The Wild Robot recently came out. We've just done an episode on it, so if you're interested, you check You know what? Out. I was thinking about this compared to the last DreamWorks film that I watched, which I know you have on here. Um, Wild Robot, that is. And I am going to say that the other film is better than The Wild Robot. I'll wait till that film. Wild Robot, very good, really well made, great return to form for DreamWorks, only lacks a bit of originality. Kung Fu Panda still number one. Excellent. Kung Fu Panda or Shrek 2? Oh! Are you prefer Shrek 2 to Shrek 1? Yes. Okay. Shrek 2 is a belter. Is it? Absolute belter. Uh, it just elevates all the best parts of Shrek, adds in a bit of conflict. The Fiona angle is not actually of as much interest to me no offence to Cameron Diaz but I found that removing Shrek and Donkey from it and making it a boys road trip where they're <laughs> they're they're um, human well Shrek's human Donkey's a horse Puss in Boots comes in he's a great character Puss in Boots all of the characters they added so the fairy godmother Prince Charming um, totally the, hilarious the, those the, two. the king are brilliant yeah Oh my god, this is so, so right. uh, the soundtrack. Oh, this is my hardest. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Shrek two. Sorry, I, 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 I kept thinking Shrek two. Shrek two. Okay, Shrek two. cool. Uh, Shrek two or Kung Fu Panda two? Um, okay, Kung Fu Panda two, very good. Not quite as good as Kung Fu Panda one. Gary Oldman in it though, pretty good. Yeah, okay. They go for the old English villain trope. Always a always a smart move. However, I don't think. Gary Oldman does quite as good a job as I think it's Robert Sheehan. Oh, I'm forgetting his name. Anyway, not quite as good as Tai Lung in Kung Fu Panda One, yeah. and it's not quite bringing as much to the table as say Shrek Two versus Shrek One. Like there's a real additive effect with Shrek Two. So still Shrek 2, and I would say Kung Fu Panda 1 above Kung Fu Panda 2. It's so hard to do a sequel that's better than the first one. It, oh, man. It's so forgivable when Kung Fu Panda 2 doesn't hit the magic of Kung Fu Panda 1, but when Shrek 2 does what it does. Shrek 2 is unbelievable. You know what I rewatched the other day? 
the scene where the giant gingerbread man, well, is Shrek, Shrek storming the castle <laughs> yes. with Donkey on the white steed. I need a hero in the background. The giant gingerbread man sacrificed himself. Be good. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. No, no. No, no, no. Come, drop buttons. Oh my God, that's it. Puss in Boots comes in and like, today I repay my debt. <laughs> oh my God, that scene is incredible. Yeah. Incredible. It's funny you say that because I think I watched that yesterday for the first oh, time in like years. It's so I, good. I, to really, I heard something that reminded me of a song. And it went on Spotify. I can't you can't find the song on Spotify. Oh, Bobby Tyler's songs might not be on Spotify. So, Sometimes Spotify doesn't have the rights to artists. Right. And so well, for instance, I had to go Neil, on YouTube. Neil Young with Joe Rogan. Remember he said he'd take off his right. if they kept playing Joe Rogan, he was gonna take off his really? discography, which I believe he did. Right, well, yeah, so I went and watched. I, I was like, I need this song. And to be fair, I wanted not just a song. I wanted the scene where, oh, put it God. in C minor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. Je Jennifer Saunders, I believe, is the one singing in that. She does a great job. Really? And you know what? That scene, I rewatched it like you. It came up on my YouTube suggested a few years ago. And I was like, I didn't quite realize I didn't quite put into perspective how unbelievable that, <laughs> that scene is and that whole film yeah, I'm gonna yeah. rewatch Shrek 2 Shrek 2 or Puss in Boots Puss in Boots alright decent enough film love story interest Puss himself is a great character Shrek 2 better excellent uh, Shrek 2 or 1917 <laughs> <laughs> oh, interesting <laughs> throw in here because 1917 is a film that we are looking at recently and not many people know. Yep. It is a DreamWorks film. And is it better than all of these beloved DreamWorks classics? Well, yes. we'll fight. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> no, fuck that. Not better than those, but we are releasing content on that soon. Yes. So please check it out on the YouTube channel or Spotify. Yes. You can. Uh, Shrek 2 or Chicken Run. Oof, an old classic got that um, stop motion animation style made famous in the UK with your Wallace and Gromits uh, and is quite beloved in the UK chicken run isn't it it is yeah. it seems to be like a kids classic over here now I haven't watched it for quite some time so I'm gonna say Shrek 2 but it's definitely got a real firm place in the hearts of UK kids so I'd be interested to see if that's translated so if anyone listing from the US or from other regions has any opinions on Chicken Run. Was it something that even made a dent anywhere other than over here? Because we do quite like it over here. Quite UK, was it? Well, it's, it's like all the all the cast of characters are UK apart from Mel Gibson. Yeah, okay. And it's definitely got quite a UK feel with the animation style. So I'd be interested to see if it translated. Excellent. I know, I know funnily enough, Wallace and Gromit is popular everywhere. Elsewhere. Yeah. Wallace and Gromit's great. It's quality, isn't it? Uh, Shrek 2 or Puss in Boots 2? Now, Puss in Boots 2, far superior to Puss in Boots 1. Is it? Quality. Came out very recently. That okay. was the one where I was talking about Is It Better Than Wild Robot earlier. Uh, this is the last DreamWorks film I watched. Watched in the cinema. It is really, really good. Right. They change up the animation style and make it a bit more anime-based. So it's less less um, kind of hand-drawn, a bit more dynamic, and the villain is incredible. The villain in Puss in Boots 2 is death. Literally right. is death, and he is intimidating. The, the whole plot line is around Puss in Boots' nine lives, ah, and he's on okay. his last life. And he just realizes, and then death comes for him. And it's like him going on an adventure with death chasing him that's so cool to take his last life which death isn't really allowed to do but he's so annoyed at Puss in Boots flaunting all of his lives that he decides <laughs> that he's going to take him down uh, and it is brilliant really worth a watch uh, Shrek 2 though yeah okay of the sequels Shrek 2 I think you know Puss in Boots is born out of Shrek 2 yeah for which sure which is mean, allowed yeah it doesn't mean that that makes it better by proxy or de facto better yeah. however you've got shrek lots of two, puss in boots characters in shrek 2 people need to put some some respect on shrek 2's name because <laughs> that film <laughs> slaps <laughs> you know what mate you're so right 100 percent um shrek 2 or madagascar shrek 2 yeah. madagascar we threw in there because it's another classic right of yeah, the, some the dream people love it, yeah. um great cast madagascar and i definitely remember 
it being one of those DVDs I had. So I just ran through it a lot of times back in the day. <laughs> However, I'm not sure I ever really enjoyed it that much. All right, well, thanks so much for listening. Thanks, and guys. we will see you on the next one. See you later.